waiting for my interview. Wish me luck. Hi, good afternoon. I could uh, hear you loud and clear. Thank you very much. Hi, Queenie. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm great. A little nervous. It's been a while, so <laughs> thank you for asking. Okay. No problem. Uh, I'm residing here in Quezon City, <coughs> SM North and Pernomo. Yes. Uh, uh, during the traffic, if I ride a cab, uh, I'll take <coughs> 20 minutes via Palayaan near the Quezon City Hall. Uh, then the what do you call this the 15th avenue and then by araneta center that's 15 to 20 minutes if it's already traffic yeah maximum 20 minutes that is correct My internet provider is PLDT Home uh, Wi-Fi. However, it's prepaid, but it's working very good uh, when it comes to its connection. And my speed is 30.65 Mbps. Yes. So far, I don't have that. I, I have plans of uh, having one. Mm -hmm. Postpaid, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. Definitely, I am. As long as it's twenty four seven, I'm I'm really willing to work with to the company. <coughs> just uh, I have a question for me, just in case, for example, after a week, uh, I am able to secure myself with a postpaid connection. Should I just? <coughs> uh, it doesn't matter if it's a home page or a report on site. So just to let you know, there's there's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Because the uh, group has been bugging me for a connection, all I have to do right now is to uh, call uh, call them and give them a go signal. So anytime this week, they could uh, provide my connection. That's with Globe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay. No problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure, no problem. But just to give you an idea, I've been working eight years with the garment industry before I decided to work with the BPO industry. And the first BPO industry that I worked with was with APAC. And uh, that was APAC Kubao. I believe that's where your uh, office is situated right now before it was one tower. So that's the, the APAC uh, site, Kubao site. And I worked with a medical account, Humana. It's like a medical, what do you call this? Uh, yeah, it's an HMO or a medical insurance uh, in the United States. I handle calls from nurses, doctors, or hospital uh, administrators, uh, checking on customers' uh, coverage. I was with them from June 15 to 2008. Uh, no, that's November 2, 2007, until June 10 of 2008. So it's for a year. And during that time, I, I don't have any uh, idea how, how a BPO industry works. Someone invited me to transfer to another company and uh, apply with them in Makati, which is Italicare during that time. So I decided to go with them just for the sake of uh, be working with them still. And that is Italicare. And fortunately, I was able to get the job. And the one who invited me did not. But I continued. That's uh, from June 15, 2008 until January 13, 2010. The account was Vonage. If you're aware with Vonage, it's like Magic Jack or something like that. Uh, it's an internet, over, over, uh, online internet for over and when you connect, it's unlimited access anywhere in the United States. It's purely sales. It's inbound call, but uh, at the same time, it's sales because every time you have to end the call, you should be able to uh, close an account. So it's a voice over uh, internet protocol. So uh, I worked with them for that long. And during that time, there was a merge, or I don't know what really happened, but the company uh, changed its name. It became Stream Global Services. So from Italicare, it became Stream. Uh, however, when uh, they changed the, the name, I was transferred to another account and a different site, which I agreed to do because it's uh, an advantage on my side because the site is uh, located in SM North, sixth floor of Annex Building, which is 10 minutes away from my place. So uh, during, uh, and uh, it was a Dish Network, the, the account was Dish Network, and I was a customer service, technical support, and sales at the same time. And then after uh, six months, I was, uh, no, three months, I was transferred to retention. And uh, well, with stream from January 13 to 2010 to September 8, 2010. And the reason why I left, because uh, during that time, we were told that we have to transfer to, uh, not, temporarily to another site in MOA just for uh, two months because they have to do some renovating or something like that. And after two months, it became three uh, and four, four months, I was still reporting on their site in MOA, which is really stressful for me because from SM North going to MOA, that's uh, like all, all half, my, half of my life was already on the streets. So during uh, transportation, so I decided to leave the company and uh, I was looking for a company, not really that near on my end, but
but as long as uh, it could meet halfway. So, but fortunately, my prayers were answered. Uh, I was able to see uh, look for a company that was uh, I was able to be I was able to uh, secure myself an employment. It was Interglobe Technologies, the WC sir, WWC building uh, right across Star Mall in Shaw Boulevard. So that's where their office was situated. That's Interglobe uh, Technologies. It's an inbound sales. I worked with them from January 4, 2012 until August 16 of 2016. The company was very good. Uh, I, I happened to go with uh, all, almost all of the employees as my fam as a family member. They were, we were close family ties. The working ambience was very good. The pay was very good. Compensation, the bonuses, incentives were all good. However, there was a time that they changed management. I don't know if that is the reason, but maybe just a coincidence. It just so happened that it began, uh, it began providing lower compensation. They decreased the bonuses, and then there was a lot of disputes on our salary and on our bonuses as well. So, I I tried to stick with the company. So I tried to stick with the company for almost a year when that happened until uh, their disputes piled up and that's so why i decided to leave because it was really hard but when seeing your close friends leaving one by one until it's almost you who is left i decided to go because it's it's, uh, it's already sad and no more uh, no no more help uh, it's no more good on my end and i was under i felt underpaid during that time so i decided to leave the company but what happened is I, I, I have this personality that I could not just stay stagnant or look or keep on waiting for a better company. So it's like what happened is I found a company like a rebound company just to make just to tell uh, myself that I'm not uh, I'm not jobless. So I uh, I was hired with Hinduja Global Solutions. It was located in Eastwood City. I have no idea where Eastwood City during that time, but when uh, I was uh, during my interview and when I was hired. First couple of days, first couple of weeks, it was good. It was enjoyable because of the surroundings in Eastwood. But as time goes by, the uh, by the way, it and customer service, technical support, and sales for Bose. It's a high-end uh, sound system. I'm sure you're aware of uh, Bose. And uh, like I said, the travel time was really tiring. Going to work, I for example, uh, I have to, I have to render two hours before my uh, potted shift. So I won't be late. And when I go home, it's like three hours because it's very, very, very traffic. Uh, it's like a parking lot, uh, hanging up in a hanging out in a parking lot when I travel. So it's really stressful, more stressful. I uh, I would rather choose the travel time from SMR to MOA <laughs> during that time if I, I'm going to compare my uh, the traveling or the transportation compared with the one going to Eastwood. So that's how awful it was. It was. And I just made myself, uh, well, I just proved myself that I, I'll be, what do you call this, after six months, I just wanted to be, I, I just wanted to assure myself that, that uh, I am regularized during that time. And people were good, the, the account was good, but it just so happened I could no longer bear with my, with the transportation going, with the, my, the means of transportation going there. So I decided to leave the company for almost a year. And fortunately, uh, well, anyway, the luck is on my uh, side because uh, there was this company, Optum Global Solutions. Uh, I, I never, I never considered myself applying with uh, call centers in Technolab because I, I don't know, I don't have any idea. But it just so happened that uh, when I saw this opening, this uh, job offer in uh, global, uh, Optum Global Solutions, it's United Healthcare. It's a medical account, uh, and the site is in uh, Ayala Technolab. So I went there, it's one tricycle away, so five minutes, I'm already there. And the, it just provides coverage to the customers. Most of the people I speak with are 60, 65 years old or about so senior, senior citizens. If you're gonna compare it with Humana, this time I speak directly with uh, members. So uh, my patience was tested because I speak with people who are poor in hearing, who are very, always irritated. Oh, you know old people, so. And that's the time I was able to uh, enhance my uh, patience as a customer service representative. I was, uh, I could tell that I was molded with that company, and it was very good. I have a lot, a lot of uh, awards, and I, I was recognized there uh, often. Uh, however, uh, my around 
the early 2019, my my mom began to suffer. She, she has already a uh, hypertension, but she had this mouth stroke. So uh, as an elder son, we are only two uh, siblings, me and my sister. Uh, I have no choice but to uh, take care of her. So I decided to apply for a leave of absence for a month first, and then it became two months. When the time comes that it's necessary for a third or to prolong my leave of absence, uh, my team leader during the my team leader during that time and my operations manager spoke with me that I have to decide uh, if I should be leaving or leave or render resignation because I could no longer keep on prolonging because I'm no longer uh, productive with the company. So they know if they have to uh, uh, hire a new uh, representatives because it's very seldom for the company to uh, have an opening or to ramp up for an opening. So, because the retention rate, the, the attrition rate there is very, very low. No one seems to, to want to leave the company. But of course, I have to make a decision. My mom or my career, but uh, during that time, I thought, it was, I thought it was really wise to render my resignation. But uh, I did not, uh, I, I, was, I wasn't thinking during that time, I should have hired a nanny or during that time, but I was too emotional that I have to render in time with my mom. So, but no regrets. She's now okay, and uh, I have a, a distant, uh, a distant relative who is uh, able to uh, assist her, care for her, twenty four hours a day, even without me or my sister. And that's the alternative that that, that I did, so I could go back working. So, however, when I was about to go back to work, uh, decided to go back to work, a pandemic happened. I'm supposed to uh, work with a Saitel. Now, during my first day for uh, it was March six. It, it was supposed to be March sixteen, and it was my uh, job offer and my contract signing. Uh, I don't know my job offer, contract signing at the same time during my first day of training. Unfortunately, like I said, the pandemic happened. Until they only emailed me. I, I was trying to contact them, but uh, there was no reply. They only got uh, gotten in touch with me after three months. So unfortunately, I could not sacrifice going out. I was that kicked out with the situation with two senior citizens on our end and I'm high risk during that time just because of my hypertension because uh, I, I don't have to leave the company but during that time but now I'm okay and everything is okay since uh, with all the vaccines going on so <laughs> I, I have a uh, peace of mind uh, going out so I think it's time for me to, uh, to work again on site or home base so it doesn't really matter. But of course, it would be better if it's home based. <laughs> You're welcome. of all it's your location Kubao. Uh, it's very, uh, very familiar so there's no reason for me to be late and all the it's like home for me and the best thing is the one who referred me is a very uh, close friend of mine I used to work with him almost two years so it, it's okay I was hoping if I could work with her again uh, same account but it's not necessary as long as I, uh, for her to recommend the company, it's very good. So she's the type of person who won't be recomm recommending something that won't be good for me. And for her to recommend 24-7, uh, it's, it's good. I'm not familiar, but her name is Camille Sarzilia. If you happen to know her, yeah. She used to speak before with Newell. She mentioned Newell. Yeah, Newell, yeah. Mm -hmm. Numerous and who loves to combine work and fun. Uh, I'm a team leader. I'm sure they're gonna tell that I could work less with less supervision. I'm usually the point. Uh, what do you call this? Point of contact or POC with uh, every TL that I work with. 
So when they actually when when coaching comes, usually um, the only thing that they could tell me is not to overdo it. Because sometimes, for example, for average ha- average handling handling time, I it's too short that I have uh, I have more time uh, to render. So because usually, uh, if I'm new with uh, with with a team leader or with a certain account. They question my stats because it's too good to be true. So they, it's like they're looking for loopholes. They listen to all my calls. I'm used to that. So I'm used to that now that uh, they're doing that. And of course, I, I have nothing to, uh, I have nothing to lose. I, I, they could pull up all my recordings, and I, I, it just so happens I'm very proud of myself to be able to prove my, my word. So that's, I think that's those are the things that my team leaders, supervisors, even operations managers, I have a good, good very good you know, working relationship with them. So I, I expect in good words from them. For me, uh, from my own perspective, uh, there should be mindset, focus, good listener who is able to acknowledge uh, a customer's uh, point of view from the very beginning. Because if you're not a good listener, you won't be able to grasp or have a complete understanding of the resolution that you'll be uh, applying. You should be very patient. You should not take things personally. And just think of it as a profession as a, as a, or a craft. Because if you take things personally, if you're very sensitive, uh, things would really affect you uh, when it comes to work. You should be a team leader as well. Not necessarily that you have already experienced with the uh, BPO industry, as long as you have a mindset that you could work well with others uh, and at the same time uh, under pressure. I think those are the best qualities that a customer service representative should, should have. Well, first of all, uh, I have uh, what my style is. I tell them stories or situations or my experience, uh, and then I'll, I'll have to I have to tell them that uh, if this if you're what you're doing is really bothering you, you're not enjoying, you're not really having fun about it. Uh, don't bother continue with what you're working with. All you have to do is just go go by the book. You don't have to go fast or keep on checking on your stats just to meet them. Go by the book as long as you follow with the quality. Do not take shortcuts. Take things ran, uh, Take things slowly, uh, and by the end of the by the end of by the end of it, so uh, once you're already mastered everything, you'll just take things slowly. You'll be able to enjoy, and once you are enjoying what you are doing, things will follow uh, smoothly. That's how I tell them that because uh, I, I tell them I understand. Uh, on uh, for example, if they're very young. During that time, I'll tell them that on your uh, for that exact age of yours, I, I understand where they're coming from, but of course, uh, with people uh, like me who's uh, who would like to believe that I have already aged well with the with the industry, I'll tell them that uh, what they're feeling is okay, it's normal, it's acceptable, but they really have to be strong and have to be a to have a controlled attitude. They really have to be optimistic because if they, if they keep on seeking. Uh, problems or complaints with what they do, they would, would end up nothing. Even though the best company they work with, if they only keep on seeing what's bad with something, they they will really not be happy. So just be optimistic and do what's trained or what's good. Go by the book. That's it. Follow what's good. Yeah, even though I don't like the word age well, so. <laughs> yeah. Yes, correct. Mm-hmm. 
as long as it's not below 20,000, I'm good with that. Yeah. Thank you. One, yep, sure, no problem. Um, my only uh, word is the reason why I was uh, placing my decision on hold with Go because I, I wanted to secure myself that I have uh, security, a job security, because I, I don't want to apply with something that I have no means to pay by the end of the day. You, you get what I mean? So do, coming from you, since you have good words from me, I believe I have, I have good chance. So. Once I have, uh, I've secured with a postpaid connection, who should I speak with? How should I contact you or how's that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well, whichever you think is good, so because after this call, my decision is to get in touch with Globe. So, <laughs> but if you think if it's okay for me to work with Airbnb first, I I just uh, one thing that I, my goal is I wanted to start as soon as possible. But of course, if you think I, I could wait for a little more, a few more days, that's all right. It 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 doesn't really matter. So it's up to you. I'm just telling you my uh, decision. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In that case. Oh, sure. Yep. So in that case, the only thing that we're waiting for is my connection. So I'll get in touch with you any uh, anytime soon after this. So that's the time that we'll just speak about what will happen next. Yeah. Yeah, when you mentioned new, well, actually, I I prefer that. I was about to tell you that I prefer new, so. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. Good. Yeah, more than what I was expecting. So, 
I'll be able to tell you the exact date when uh, I'll hear the story. So at least, and I have something to uh, tell you. Okay. Sure, no problem. Or earlier than that. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'll organize this one. Okay. at all. All my questions are already uh, reserved for Grove, so I'm still to call them right now. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much as well. You too. Okay, bye Queenie, see you soon. Bye. Thank you. 